Yeah, so these prints have a little bit of um, little fuzzy bits because uh, I think the filament, because the filaments are hydrophilic and so um, they attract moisture. If you leave them out for too long, I think these, these filaments have, uh, have um, been left out too long. So but nothing a little bit of elbow grease can't fix. I'm just trying to get rid of uh, all these little stray bits of, of filament. It's early morning and I'm just uh, putting out all the ABS parts to dry. I've had them in the rinse for well, pretty much the whole night just to rinse away the last bit of dust and stuff. So they're all out to dry now. So that's, uh, those are all the leg parts you see over there. Uh, the superstructure for the main body, these are all the little struts in the, that form like a little cage in that egg-shaped body. Mm, parts of the turret, parts of the sponsons on the side, and some of the rings around the uh, little anti-aircraft guns. So these pretty much account for maybe 99% of all the ABS parts that I need printed. I've got a few more pieces that I need printed. Um, mostly I need to get uh, new dimensions because I'm changing the vibration motors for the machine gun. So, so those, little, those little pieces I can print on my own, on my tiny um, 3D printer here. So just to show you the progress, I've got all the um, ABS parts pretty much printed and cleaned up, uh, ready to be primed. I might prime them later on, so that will be another bit of a footage. So I'm here um, uh, soldering up some LEDs and the uh, vibration motors. Uh, just preparing all the parts I need for the build. All this while waiting for um, my SLS parts to arrive by post. I've also got a bit of uh, modeling stuff that's coming by post and I'll have all the bits I need assembly so hopefully within the next uh, next week or the week after I'll have most of the parts arriving and then I can start the assembly in order so in the meantime I'm trying to get as much um, stuff prepared and ready as possible uh, I really suck at soldering so you guys can point out what I'm doing wrong let me know so I can improve. This is one of those bits I wish I can uh, farm out to an intern at some stage. But in the meantime, I still gotta do it myself. How the hell did humans figure out soldering when you need to hold four things with two arms? No idea. I'm 
the shrink that wrapped that so that the joints are a little bit better protected. Got a hair dryer here to do to the heat, heat shrink. Well, I got three done. Well, now I just gotta do this another 40 times. I'm sure you don't want to see all that. So, uh, I'll probably show you a bit when I'm done. Yeah, just some footage of me uh, printing some of the smaller parts on my 3D printer at home. Uh, this is the Up Plus 2 printer. Um, the resolution is actually better than the Stratasys Fortis, but um, it can't handle large pieces with the sort of uh, accuracy that the, the Stratasys can. But I know I don't mind using it to print small pieces. Yeah, I know that's luminous green, don't judge. I'm gonna paint it anyway, so it doesn't matter what, you know, what color it is. Um, I'm actually using MakerBot uh, filaments. Um, I've, I've done a little bit of a mod on my, um, my fortress here. You can see this little switch here in the corner. Uh, that's just the switch that um, puts a resistor on the temperature sensor, so um, the, the software kind of thinks it's like a uh, what is it lower temperature when it's actually higher. So with that, I can actually use the um, well, actually the other way around, higher rather than lower. So I can actually use the the MakerBot one because the MakerBot one is actually a a lower temp uh, melting point than the actual um, Up Plus one, which is a lot harder to get my hands on. Yeah, but it works fine. Um, Turns out great. So I'm actually mixing and matching, um, you know, different prints from different printers. A lot more to see this week. Um, I would like to thank you guys for watching and for supporting this project. Um, if you like and want to follow this build, please uh, like and subscribe. Have fun.